What's up guys? Got a brand new video for you today. It's super early in the morning, but we got brand new firmware for the X-T2, the X-T20, and the GFX. So let's install it right now. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Fist bump. All right, we gotta find a park. I need a wider lens. So, you got the X-T2 with no firmware. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the X-T2 with the old firmware, 2.12 or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, whatever the last one was. I just updated mine. So we're gonna go test some continuous autofocus tracking because it's supposed to be two times faster. It's a pretty bold statement, two times faster. That's a huge statement. So yeah, this firmware is not just for well, I guess it's different versions of firmware, but the X-T20 got new firmware, um, which just allows you to use the touch screen as a joystick for focus points. And then the GFX has a bunch of new stuff. Hold on, in other news, the, the X-T2S is gonna be called the X-H1, apparently. Yeah, I saw that Fresh last night. Fresh off I don't know, but they make a Hummer called an H1. Yeah. We just need a path so that we can, like, I'll just set up like a, we need to set up like a controlled situation mm -hmm. where it's tripod, start point, end point. The thing is how am I, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run at the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, version 3 firmware on mine, and then yours is version 2.12. So they know now that we have two different firmwares. But yeah, I put it on wide and then the... Focus mode area is that. Yeah, that, yeah. And then uh, AF settings I put to set for radically moving subjects. Yeah, so now set this to continuous high. Good. Now. Drive setting. Make sure it's 11 FPS. 11, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's telling me he's gonna wear gloves for the shots with his camera so we're shooting with his camera version 2.12 firmware we did two one we did straight running and then the other one we did him kind of doing goofy flailing his arm so we're gonna do the exact same thing the settings are exactly the same on this camera this is gonna be a really hard to tell whether it's twice as fast, but at least we can know whether it has a better hit rate or not. So let's do it. Go. Go. Okay, so maybe it needs to be not 11 FPS. Maybe we need to do it at like five. Okay. Because 11 FPS has too many intervals of reconnecting to the, mm. the focus. If we have five frames per second, then it has to like jump further because there'll be more time. In between? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So sure. let's try one more where you're running crazy sure. and then we'll try five FPS. All right, so from the tests, it kind of looks like they're both averaging about the same focus hit rate. I won't know how to put the files on the computer, but the question is how can we really tell whether this is twice as fast? And I think what we need to do is maybe slow the shutter speed down or the frame rate down because when we're shooting at 11 FPS, it's acquiring focus so quick that there's less distance between each shot. So if we slow it down, the time that it takes for you to run, there'll be more gap. So it has to reacquire at a further distance. Or maybe it's just, maybe that doesn't even matter. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's try it at like F five FPS or like three FPS and see if there's any difference. Go. Okay, so we've kind of come to the conclusion that I haven't noticed any difference. I they know. look almost exactly the same. I don't know what I can do to prove that it's two times faster. faster. It, it acquires it two times faster, like... It acquires focus two times faster, but I guess if we're shooting in some kind of a slow motion thing, we could try and, like, we'd have to get the same lens on. 
Did you bring your other lenses? Uh, yeah, I have, I have all my lenses. I can't really prove that it's two times faster, but uh, yeah, that's, but, that's where we're at. We also have to think about the 50% smaller object tracking too. Yeah, how small does it have to be? Like I have like a little keychain pendant thing you can use. And How would I stand a certain distance, I hold that thing, I'll dangle it, and we'll just pre-plan where I'm putting it in, in frame. So like I just move my arm out and you see how quickly it acquires it maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put the lens hood on, start the rain. So in that test, our conclusion is Small smaller works. objects seems to work better on the new firmware. We tried two runs with this, the exact same settings, couldn't get this to lock on the same way as the new firmware. So that works, but we still need to figure out a way to test high speed continuous tracking. If I see anyone on the internet just doing side to side cars driving past them and saying that it's faster, that's not really a test. Effective test would have depth of field changing dramatically yeah, because yeah, to side, by side. side to side isn't going to change too much so it's starting to rain a lot I got like water hitting everything Okay, so we got the cameras stacked on top of each other. They're both using the 56 millimeter f1.2, shooting at an f2.8. Same setting, so I'm gonna focus on the wall here. And the first camera to acquire focus between the fence on the tree kind of gives us a better understanding of how fast it's acquiring continuous autofocus. So this might be better than actually having someone running at us because in that test, I couldn't really see any difference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this, stack them on top of each other. We're gonna shoot it in slow motion on the iPhone at 240 frames per second. See which one acquires focus first. So let's do it right now. Okay, so focusing on the wall here. Get them set up the same, they're both focused. So mine was first, and then the old former was second. We've tried this multiple times now, it's the same. So we'll try it again. Yeah, like that. Let's just see if we can blow the internet up and see if we can get single point faster too. If it's not any faster, then we know that it has nothing to do with that. Okay, here we go. Single point autofocus, both through the fence at the same time. Same. Identical. Again. So yeah, single so. shot didn't matter, but the continuous autofocus doing basically the exact same test. The new firmware is faster. We're gonna focus on the brick wall. And I'm gonna bring it back to the tree here. Ready? Three, two, one. We were able to successfully do a test where we got some kind of actual proof that it is a little bit faster, but I wouldn't say it's insanely faster. We'll have to slow it down on, on the computer and see, because we did shoot it in slow motion. We'll see whether it's actually twice as fast, but we're going back to the car now, it's like way cold. Alright man, thanks for helping me out. Yeah, no problem man. Now I can get to update my firmware. Get yeah, that two times faster. <laughs> two times faster. <laughs> Alright man, All take right, it see you easy. Later. Yeah, thanks a lot. Alright, let's import these files and see what we got. Okay, so basically I just kind of categorized everything and what it was. So we have the XT2 with firmware version 3 here. We got the first runs the second run where he just kind of went crazy and then we got the continuous low run because I wanted to try and see if the continuous low would actually have more distance where it has to focus because it's not just like da 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 it's more like boom 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 with the movements so I didn't really see any difference they both did really well but if we look at the first runs here I'm pretty sure that all of these are good so we're gonna cycle through these I'm just gonna shift through nothing in specific order here. We're shooting at 11 frames per second, so it's super fast. 
they all look really good. Takes a while to load. So yeah, that, I mean, even with his arm right out of the shot, it's still in focus. So, the first run was good. Now taking a look at the second run where he was going crazy. This, from what I could tell, was also really good. Everything was in focus. Even right to the end, it was in focus. So this is on version 3 firmware, like you can tell it's it's good and sharp there. So version 3 firmware, no problems. Oh yeah, we'll do continuous low as well. Version 3 firmware, continuous low shooting. Uh, this was 4 frames per second. Again, no issues, everything was nice and focused. And he's running at me full sprint. So no problems there. We're gonna look at firmware 2.12 now. So we'll look at the first run here. So like I said, I, I can't tell the difference between these. They're all really good. Still in focus. Still in focus. Maybe a little soft there, but he's off the edge of the frame at that point. But it looks pretty good, so let's look at the second run. So this is the second round where he was going crazy, moving his arms around. Full sprint at me again. <laughs> uh, what a psycho. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff's like pretty much perfectly in focus. So yeah, not too big of a difference between those firmwares when you got someone coming running at you. Um, but let's take a look at the small object tracking because that was something that they improved on the new firmware. So basically what he did was he held out his keys, I locked focus, and then he moved them towards me. And we're shooting at, I think, 140 millimeters at this point. Yeah, so I was shooting at exactly 140 millimeters. So we got the most shallow depth of field compression that we can get. Um, which obviously shows that the tracking is working better because you know it could lose focus really fast this way and he was also pretty close so if we look at every frame here it's it stayed pretty much in focus the entire time yeah right up to the end here it was pretty much in focus I think at this point he was getting to its minimum close focus distance but I mean, look at that, it's nice and sharp. It's obviously in focus. I think it's focusing on the center ring right in here. Yeah, but look at that, look how sharp that is. That's always moving too. So, small object, continuous tracking. This was in zone, so it was in the center cluster focus points. Now if we go to the other firmware, I tried it three times, but I only imported the last time. So this is firmware 2.12. Starting out with the keychain perfectly in focus. As he got closer to me, it just lost focus. I was trying to move the camera to keep that thing in the center of the screen, but it just could not track. Well, it caught it there. Lost it, caught it. Obviously, there's a bit of a change there when it comes to continuous tracking on smaller objects, and uh, at least we could show some kind of test result on that. So obviously I mentioned the Fuji X RAW Studio software that they came out with where you can process the RAW files through the camera, through the app software on the computer, and then use the like JPEG engine that's built into the camera to process the RAW files. I'm curious to try it out, but I don't really want to include it in this video. I think I'm going to make a separate video on that. That way I have a little bit more time to play around with it and I can actually give you guys a better understanding of how it works. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me on this video. Obviously we saw the tests, whether we can really prove the claim that it's two times faster, it's hard to say. But obviously from point to point in the slow motion that we did, we could see that the version three firmware was a little bit faster at acquiring focus. But when it came to like an object running at the camera, I couldn't really see a difference. And that's probably just because the X-T2 was already really fast at autofocus. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you just like it, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one. I don't like vlogging. Vlogging.com